Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to share with you guys how I make my en enamel dots. I've had quite a few people lately um, ask me how I do it, um, so I figured why not do a video. This is super easy, there's plenty of videos out there. It's kind of like a trial type thing because um, everybody's ovens are different, but I do bake them. So I'm going to show you guys like the ones that I have. I, they are mixed with like store-bought ones as well, but like, no, that one's not one. Like these, these orange ones, yellow ones. Now they don't come always like the perfect size, but I like that. I think it gives them character and they're really easy and super um, fast to make. Like here's another one. And I get them at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. And so, yeah, these are ones that I made. There's another pink, no, not that pink one. But here are the beads. I just have them separated by color, but um, these are the ones that I'm gonna use to melt down to look like that. And I'm going to lay them on the tray. I'm just gonna do a few just so you guys get the idea because I have um, quite a bit of stash right now so I don't need to melt all of these but I'm going to show you guys how I do this all right all right so I just laid them down you want to make sure they are facing upwards um, not on the side and they are on some parchment paper and I have my little mini toaster oven set at 450 degrees now like I mentioned before it's basically just how your oven temp is some bake faster than others. So I would say start checking on them every five minutes. Um, you will have, since I'm baking them in the home, um, you will have a strong scent. So if you don't like strong scents, I don't recommend it. It doesn't last a long time, but as far as while you're baking them and then after a while, you will have that scent in the house, um, like a chemical type scent, but it goes away, it's not a big deal. Um, so I did put a mixture of a few colors and I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. All right, guys, so you guys can see they're popped up in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and close this really slow. And I'm going to check on it every, um, starting at five minutes, and then after that, probably every minute or two. So it is something that you have to keep an eye on because the longer they melt, the bigger they are and I don't like mine to be too big is what I notice so once they're melted and you like the size then they're ready so we'll see um, after five minutes we'll take a look at how it looks all right guys so it's been five minutes and this is what they look like and they're all pretty much melted to the way I like so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out so as you guys can see, they are so cute. They came out perfect. And um, of course they're hot. So if you were to touch them now, they would still be a little like um, soft. So what you wanna do of course is let them cool. I would say for a few minutes cause they, doesn't, it, they don't take that long to cool off. And then I just use a, um, a little plastic knife to kind of scoop them up and um, I'll show you guys once they are cool off what I do with them so you guys can see what they look like closer up. Okay, so it literally was like a minute or two. I just put a couple things away and they are already hot. I mean, <laughs> cooled down. So you don't even need the knife actually. You can kind of just pick at them with your fingers. So I'm just going to loosen them all up. I am doing this with one hand, so it's a little bit awkward. But they turn out so cute, and you can see the colors are still vibrant and um, super easy. And all you have to do is literally just add glue to them. I'm gonna go ahead and put two in here I didn't get. So this is one that's upside down. So that's what it looks like. But they're shiny and glossy and so pretty and easy to make. So you guys can see it's not hard at all. Um, the only thing, like I said, to me is the worst part about doing this is the scent. But after, 
it does go away it's not a big deal and um, I think they turn out super cute and then I just add them right in there and they get mixed with all my other ones and then when I need them I just use glue and they work out perfect for projects so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all in my next one take care bye